let's try to knock out a couple more supplies while the baby's still asleep. By request, contact solution. I don't know why this one doesn't say contact solution on it, but that's what it is. And below the disinfecting, disinfecting solution giant writing, it says for soft contact lenses, including silicone and hydrogel lenses, whatever. So it is contact solution. What is it? What is it used for? And what slimes? Oh, and you also all want to know where I buy them and which one I use. So this is the one I use. I get it on Amazon. It's the Kirkland brand because Kirkland brand makes great stuff. I don't know what it is when it's not white labeled, but it's good. I buy it in a box of three and it is the most economical version that I have found cost-wise. But you don't have to use this one. You can use any contact solution that includes boric acid. It's important that it have boric acid in it. If it doesn't, it's not going to work. It's not going to do you any good. So what is contact solution used for in slime? There are two main uses for contact solution in slime, and it is primarily used in clear slimes. The first and most traditional use is not just in clear slimes, it's in all slimes. You can use it combined with baking soda as a method of activating. People ask me all the time, what activator to use? I always say a borax activator, but there are some people who use contact solution mixed with baking soda. You can look up online what the ratio is. I think it's like three teaspoons of contact solution to a teaspoon of baking soda or something like that. Don't quote me on that because I don't actually know because I don't use it. Why don't I use it? Because it hardens after a couple of days. When I worked at Slumu, I did a weeks long test of all the different types of activators to see how the slimes would last and all that. This one doesn't last. That's why I don't use it. But a good use of contact solution and why I do have it in my supplies is that it makes coating for coated clear slimes, putties, etc. If when you are making the slime and or after you make the clear slime, you add a small amount of this solution to it, it takes away some of the tackiness that clear slime can tend to have. And some people really don't like clear slime because they don't like that tacky feeling on their hands. This will remove that if you add it to it. Um, it's hard to go overboard with it, so don't worry about amounts. But I don't use it as an activator for the reasons I already listed. Um, if you don't have one that has boric acid in it, it's not going to do you any good. This one happens to have boric acid and sodium borate in it, so it's got both. Anyway, I really like this one. This is the brand I use. Um, I don't really have any use for it anymore, but I'll probably just keep the two bottles that I have because, I don't know, I'm not in the business of selling contact solution. And that's it for today's episode of Slime Supply Breakdown.